Hi, welcome back to Valley News Live. We have extended that first alert weather day to now include Thursday. So let's get started and look at what we can expect. Tuesday, at least, will be pretty mild comparatively as some rain, particularly some storms too, start to move in from the south propelled by some warm southerly air. Now on Wednesday, that's when things really start getting going. We could see some thunder still continuing into early Wednesday morning, but then soon after that, things will start to transition into some frozen precipitation, somewhere between snow and rain. You could see some sleet and frozen rain uh, thrown in there, but mostly snow or mostly rain. And then on Thursday, the new first alert weather day will also be uh, experiencing some significant snowfall then as well and again some of that could fall uh, as sleet or frozen rain in our south and eastern counties but that system is looking to be pretty robust so let's take a look at this next week on Tuesday we're going to start to see some of this rain start to enter particularly in our south and east and then as we move in through Wednesday we get a nice break during the evening before things really start getting going on Thursday here we are at about noontime on Thursday and as you can see some significant rain in the east with some mixed precip in the middle and then some pretty heavy snow for those out west and that timing is not great as it will pretty uh, significantly impact some travel plans, especially if you're trying to head out during the weekend, get down to the cities or something if you're trying to catch a flight. Now, as we are looking right now, we're seeing those clouds start to move into our uh, area here in Fargo as temperatures are right now at 42 degrees, and that feels like temperature is at 37 thanks to that wind. Now we're seeing temperatures for the most part in the 40s with some 30s for those in our east Bemidji there at 33 degrees, while at west in Jamestown, it's 44 degrees there. Now, I have been watching these showers start moving into our neck of the woods, and there were some brief frozen uh, signatures up in the north, just west of Towner County there, but that looks like it's dissipated. So right now, it's just looking all like liquid, and as we look through this evening, we're going to see some rounds of rain and could be some storms for those down in the south and in the north, obviously some snow for them at around 10 o'clock. Now at midnight, we're going to continue watching those storms move across. And as we drop during the nighttime hours, some of that could transition into some frozen precip, particularly for our very far eastern counties. Now tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be very windy. We're going to see some wind speeds of well over 40 miles per hour as we move on throughout the day. And we'll have some flakes for those right up along the border. Now we'll see those, wi those winds continue through the afternoon. And once that sun sets, we're still going to see some pretty windy conditions, but it will be only in the 20 mile an hour range, which is much calmer than what we were used to throughout the day. Tomorrow morning, temperatures for the most part in the 30s with some 20s in the north. And tomorrow afternoon, that wind will be whipping at near 40 miles per hour, even some 50s out there. Now, these next seven days are going to be pretty wild this weekend. Calm. Don't forget to set those clocks back before you head out or as you uh, wake up tomorrow morning. Don't be surprised if you are running a little uh, late, I guess, or I guess, no, running a little early as we fall back. Now we do have those first alert weather days, so we'll keep you updated on those. And it is quite the, the ride that we're on for these next few days. Those temperatures are looking pretty chilly by the end of the week. We'll see those temperatures in the 20s, though. Yeah, well, I just went through so many emotions there. I'm excited for the extra hour of sleep oh, and yeah. not excited for the snow. So <laughs> nope, not thanks at all. for that, Jim. Yeah. But also, while we're looking in the sky, stargazers have one last chance for the next three years to catch a total.